I'm about to show you how to make and sell car decals with the help of a cutting machine like a Cricut. So let's get crafty. All right, so I get asked all the time how to make money with a Cricut cutting machine. And today I'm gonna to dive in and show you exactly how to do that with something that is super quick, super simple, super easy. Literally, you can do it. I don't care, I don't care who you are you can definitely do this. And that is making car decals with the help of a cutting machine. These things are super affordable, super cheap to produce, and you can actually make a really good ROI, a really good return on investment with this. So for starters, let's go ahead and head over to crafty.net where you can get unlimited downloads of top quality SVG cut files to make your job so much easier. All right, so here is the file that I'm wanting to use today. It says, get off my tail. I just personally think that this is a perfect decal to put it on the back of a car. I mean, you do you boo, whatever floats your boat, whatever tickles your pickle. What I'm gonna do is come over here and I don't want to necessarily download the entire zip file. I just wanna go in here and change this option over to an SVG and then do just a one click download like so. All right, so what we're also gonna need is some permanent adhesive vinyl. My favorite, like my go-to, is definitely the StarCraft HD. The HD stands for high durability. This is a permanent adhesive vinyl, which is important. You do want to do a permanent adhesive vinyl for a car decal. Now, don't get freaked out. Don't get worried that if you use a permanent adhesive vinyl, that your customer will never be able to pull it off of their car in the future, because that's just simply not the case. All they would need to do is hook up a hairdryer to it for just a few minutes and then just slowly scrape it off and it'll be good. I promise you. We will also need a cutting mat, like a standard grip cutting mat. And we will also need some transfer tape. Now, this is like the gold standard in my opinion. This is the Style Tech Clear Medium Tech Transfer Tape. This stuff is just so freaking good. So what we'll do now is head over to a Cricut Design Space. And as you can see, I do have this already uploaded into our Cricut Design Space Canvas. And if you're not entirely sure how to do that, I have a whole playlist where I go through and show you how to do that on different devices. So that'll be listed down in that description box below for y'all. So what I'm gonna do first off is actually just resize this to be whatever size I want it to be. And I think that for most car decals, like an average size for something like this would be around four to five inches or so. So what I'll do is come up here and just change that width to, let's just do five inches, hit enter and there we go. I mean, we're basically done. I mean, this is just a really quick and simple and easy process, but I do wanna kick it up a notch. So what I'm gonna do is come over here, click on shapes and I'm gonna open up a square. There we go. And let's just go ahead and make this just a little bit larger than our actual decal. Let's right click it and then click on send it back. And then we can move our decal over here on top of this like so. Let's make the square a little bit bigger. And we can even come over here and click on this little padlock, which will allow us to actually change out the proportions like so, to something more like that right there. All right, we can go ahead and lock that back. Now what I'm actually wanting to do with this is actually create like this box, like this square around our design that will actually cut through the entire sheet of vinyl where it would actually cut all the way through and actually make it just for a cleaner cut for us to go ahead and just smack some, some transfer tape on top of it and then ship it straight out once a customer puts it in order. So what I'm going to do is with this little, this little square, I'm going to right click it and then click on duplicate and let's go ahead and repeat that process four times. Like we wanna make sure that there are four layers, which will basically tell our Cricut to cut around this little box, like this little square, four times. So we already have two of these little squares. Let's do two more. And we can just simply copy and paste it, or just again, right click it and click on duplicate. All right, so we can go ahead and move this little decal out of the way and then click and drag over these four little squares, come up here towards the top of the screen, click align, click center, and then come down here towards the bottom right and click on attach. There we go. Let's go ahead and right click this and click on send it back. And then we can go ahead and drag our little decal over here, front and center like so. And then go ahead and click and drag over all of this all together. And then come down here towards the bottom right and click on attach. All right, so if we take a really quick look over here at the layers panel, we can see that yes, it is going to cut out our design just by itself. But we can also see that this little square, it's basically going to go ahead and cut out that square that exact square going around and around four times, which will again cut through that entire sheet of permanent adhesive vinyl right here. So let's go ahead and come up here towards the top right and click on make it. I am going to go ahead and use a cutting mat and then click on continue. All right, so let's go ahead and load this vinyl onto our cutting mat. 
And I am using a white vinyl just because this will show up really, really well on most cars. So just keep in mind that some cars have like a tinted window, some do not, but regardless, this white vinyl, especially like this white matte finish is gonna show up really nicely on any type of car window. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and come over here to the bottom right and click on continue. And we just wanna make sure that our Cricut is connected. I will go ahead and open this up as well. And then I do wanna come over here and I'll click on premium vinyl permanent glossy. Now this is just like my go-to cut setting for StarCraft HD. Again, the StarCraft HD y'all, it is just so freaking affordable. You can get like a 12 inch by five foot roll of this for like $2.85 from 143vinyl.com. And if you are a crafty.net member, you'll save an additional 10% on top of that. Like most people will actually pay for their crafty.net membership with the discount that they get from 143vinyl.com. And that membership comes with a free commercial license included. Let's go ahead and load this in here. And once this little go button starts flashing, we can go ahead and click on that for it to start cutting. And as you can see, it is going through and actually cutting around that decal with that square four times. And that's because we actually stacked four of those squares on top of each other and attached them. So it's in that command through for it to actually repeat that process four times. All right, so let's go ahead and unload this. And then let's go ahead and flip this over and then peel our mat away from that, that vinyl. And basically by doing that, we're just not damaging the actual material itself. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go in here with a little weeding tool like this and basically just weed out all of the vinyl that's not a part of our actual decal. By the way, if you are new around here to this channel and you also want to learn how to best use your Cricut cutting machine, then you definitely want to consider stamping that subscribe button and also consider ringing that little bell for all of the notifications because y'all do not want to miss out on a single Cricut Minute. All right, so as you can see here, it is all weeded out. Another thing I love about the StarCraft HD is that with the white vinyl, it actually comes like on this little blue backing where you and even your customer could see exactly where the decal is, where the design is, and there's no confusion about that whatsoever, which would be pretty difficult if it was actually on a white background. So what I'll do now is actually pull off some of the StyleTech clear medium tech transfer tape. Now, the reason I was saying earlier that this is, in my opinion, like the gold standard, like this stuff is just really, really good is because you do not need to worry about there actually being like a sticky residue or film that this leaves on the vinyl. It's not gonna happen with this. You can put this onto the actual vinyl decal, send this off to your customer, and not have to worry about that at all. I will only say this, that you may wanna put in some, some instructions to the customer that whenever it comes time for them to actually apply this to the car, to make sure that they peel the backing paper up off of the vinyl and transfer tape instead of the other way around just because it usually tends to work out a whole lot easier that way. So I'm rolling off some of this transfer tape with the sticky side facing up towards me. Then we're gonna take our little decal here and then just place this face first down onto the actual transfer tape on the sticky side of that transfer tape. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of lightly curve it like so. Then you just wanna grab a little squeegee tool like this and burnish that out. And then you just wanna grab some scissors and then trim out around the backing paper for the vinyl. All right, so here is the finished product with our transfer tape on top of it. So basically all you need to do is stick this into the mail, send it off to your customer. Once they get it, they would just go in here and peel the backing paper up off of that vinyl and transfer tape and then apply it down to a clean surface. So it is recommended that if they're gonna put this on glass or really any smooth surface, to go ahead and clean that off with the rubbing alcohol first and then wait for that to evaporate or to dry before applying this right here. Once they apply it down to the car window, before peeling off that transfer tape, they can use like a credit card or like a rewards card, something to go in there and actually burnish that out and onto their car window really well before removing that transfer tape. Now it will take 48 to 72 hours for that permanent vinyl to properly cure and adhere down to that car window. So it would be best if they stayed away from a car wash or anything like that in the meantime. Hey, real quick, if you liked this video or if you learned something new, 
consider taking just a few quick seconds to stamp that like button and drop a comment down in the comment section below. Both of those things are totally free to do. It takes just a few seconds and it honestly helps me out so much here on this channel. So thank you so much in advance for that. Also, if you are new around here to this channel and you wanna learn how to best use your Cricut cutting machine or heck, maybe even learn how to make some money from a Cricut cutting machine, then you definitely want to consider stamping that subscribe button and ringing that little bell for all the notifications as well. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I love y'all to the freaking moon and back and until next time, Stay crafty.